Welcome everyone, it's Gray Shirt Guy, rocking Gray Shirt as always. I actually am wearing a Gray Shirt today. See? Gray Shirt. Alright, let's get into it. We got a little Odyssey. Ooh, we gonna get anything spicy at Odyssey? We we got some pretty spicy stuff. I'm, I really like the land cycle, so if I can get some basic lands, I'd be... They don't even have to be foil like that last one we got a couple weeks ago, but jeez. Alright, we got Dwarven Grunts. Hold on, I got, a, I got a problem. I got to sort something out. Something isn't in the right order. Alright, Dwarven Grunt. Immobilizing Ink, a little Ember Beast, Dreamweaver. I just, I just, something about this art, I just really like it. Ooh, Timberland Ruins. All right, a little, that's a, like the Sackland cycle, okay. A little Chain Flare, Avon Fisher, Rabid Elephant. I wonder if people, like, they weren't super happy to get lands because you normally you just get lands out of, like, packs or whatever. Maybe that's why there's not as many lands in here. I don't know, okay. We got a little muscle burst. Ooh, we got zombie cannibal. He's a, I have a zombie cannibal in my um, uh, zombie commander deck. We got a pilgrim of justice. Price of glory. No, oh, there you go. We got Avon Archer. Oh, he's a uh, Avon Archer is in my jank lame uh, archer deck. Uh, but it's as, so Avon Archer is now retcon to be a bird soldier archer, I believe, or a bird archer. I don't know. Ooh, Roar of the Worm, there you go. That's, uh, that's, that Roar of the Worm was really good back in the day. No, no problems there. And Nantuku Mentor. Okay. Tap, target creature gets plus X, plus X until I'm turn where X is that creature's power. So, hey, you want to make that thing bigger? Make it bigger. All right. Are we going to get a Cabal Coffers? I don't know. I haven't seen one yet. This is probably the eighth pack I think I've opened so far of Torment. I think so. Sounds about right. I could be wrong. <clears throat> we got Shades Form. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty interesting art. Partic Lancer. Avon Trooper once again. Crippling Fatigue. That's... <laughs> that is me sometimes when I wake up. Uh, so today, you guys will see it way in the future. Well, actually, actually, I don't know when you'll see it. Because uh, when this video posts and then should be handling it might actually I might already have it by the time you guys see this video But I ordered a brand new monitor same size as the monitor I currently have but it's a hundred Hertz So yeah, I was crippling fit. I had a little bit of wall of fatigue. Uh, I had plenty of money to buy it I just <clears throat> Anyways, well, yeah, we'll keep going. All right. Oh, oh yeah, Baskin rule all that's that's how I feel right now I'm feeling I'm feeling happy opening torment. I'm like I'm great Aquamoeba. Yeah, this guy uh, hey guys, you got any, you got any tells? I could use a tell. Flash of Defiance, get out of my back. Frantic Purification, must clean, must clean faster. Unhinged. <laughs> uh, is, this, is, this, is this what it looks like when I get coffee? Or before I get coffee? I don't know. <clears throat> enslaved Dwarf, oh really? <clears throat> Who's enslaved, the dwarf or the lady? <clears throat> Little Obsessive Search, I, I'm just trying to find that one magic card. I'm really just trying to find it. Violent Eruption. Hmm. Till four damage divided as you choose among any number of creatures. Is that like Taco Bell? Sent on Scout. Ugh, not the uncommon one. Centaur Druid may block his Odette Flying Threshold. Okay. And, ah, oh, Crazy Fire Cat. Once again, not what we want. Ooh, but this is nice. Okay. A little Consolation Prize. Not nearly as valuable. But I'm not going to say no to a little Parallel Evolution. Uh, I remember making like green token decks way back in the day and like trying to make a bunch of squirrel decks And this was definitely one of those choice cards you needed For each creature token in play its controller puts a creature token into play That's copy of that creature and it's got flashback the only downside is if your opponent was also playing tokens So all right, let's get into judgment. Let's end this episode off. Let's see what we got going on is it, Are we gonna get like we did last week another one of these? I hope not. <laughs> I really I really hope not that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for many things, but not that. All right, we got a little Soul Gorger or ah, oh, damn, I did it again. Hold on. I hate judgment so much. <laughs> we got Lava Dirt. <laughs> we got the Tracer. Oh, you know, Hapless Research, you're gonna fall if you, you gotta be careful. You know, that's, uh, that's not up to OSHA code. We got a little barbarian. <laughs> they were out of Gorditas. Ooh, a little treacherous werewolf. <laughs> come, come to my castle. Iron shell beetle. Eh, you know what? Why not? Keep watch. Was this the night watch? 
Venomous vines. Ooh, destroy target enchanted permanence. This is extremely narrow. <laughs> maybe, actually, maybe back in the day, this wasn't that narrow. It's probably like sideboard only playable. I don't know. Like, I don't remember ever seeing this play. That's super like, <laughs> the art's awesome though. Shield Mage Advocate. Little Swirling Sandstorm going on. Yeah. Well, Jill's Threshold, Swirling Sandstorm deals five damage to each creature without flying. So here's the thing. If you don't have Threshold, this card does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. So you can pitch it to try to get more. I don't know. You just wouldn't play it. Border Patrol. Attacking does not cut. Oh, so it's a 1-6 Vigilance for five. All right. Well, we got the org again. Welcome back to the org. Trample, when it comes to the play, you lose all but one life. Whew. Release play, you gain life equal to the life you lost when it came to play. That is, no. I don't want to play that. Gross and Reclamation, oh, this is pretty sweet. What is this? Target player shuffles up to two, two cards from his or her graveyard into his or her library. All right. Chastise, destroy target attacking creature, you gain life equal to its power. That's decent. And our rare is, ooh, Balthor, the Defiled, Zombie Dwarf Legend, with a little commander action going on here. All minions get plus one, plus one. I don't think there's a lot of minions in the game. I don't, maybe, maybe there are. I don't know. I'm not, not familiar with all the minions. We got three black. Remove it from the game. Return Each player returns all black and red creature cards from his graveyard uh, to play. His or her graveyard to play. It's a 2 2. So basically, you're like, I'm going to exile the Balthor and then all of... So I'm just going to dump everything in my bin and I'll bring all the black or red creatures in. Now, the thing is, is as a commander, he's a black-only commander because he doesn't have the red uh, pip. He just has uh, red in his card name. But the problem is if any of your opponents are playing black or red, this could be could be an issue. Let's see which one. I think Balthor might be the highest in value, but let's check real quick for y'all. Hmm. Balthor is $4. Uh, Price of Glory is actually $6, so <laughs> our uncommon is actually more expensive than our rare. Um, let's see, what do we got? $6. I know I, I, Parallel Evolutions, I've seen it on here. This has got to... Oh, okay, so Parallel Evolutions is $4 also. I don't think this one's on here. What is this guy, Antuka Mentor? Yeah, I don't know. He's, 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 he's not bad, but he's, he's not worth. Nah, okay. Yeah, so these two are the same. Parallel Evolutions. It actually turns out that the uh, Price of Glory, the Uncommon from Odyssey, is, uh, where is it? Is worth the most. All right, cool. Anyways, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you all around next week. Have a good day. Goodbye.